this is Tim from Your Six Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix your Amazon Fire TV remote when it's not working. Now, the first thing we want to do is flip it over and then remove the batteries. Then, when the batteries are removed, hold down the power button for at least one minute. So, let's hold this button now. Now, press in every button on the remote multiple times. So, I'm going to go up and down the remote and make sure there's no button that's lodged in. So, let's do this three to four times. Then you can go ahead and let go of the power button and flip over the remote and just tap it on your hand a few times. Now I'm going to press, now I'm going to place the batteries back into my remote and I can see if it's working on my TV now. If it's still not working, we can try resetting the remote and repairing it back to the TV. So to do this, hold down the back button, the button with the three lines and the left button here. So let's hold all three of these buttons down at the same time. And you have to hold it down for approximately 10 to 15 seconds. And you may notice like it'll scroll back to the home screen on your TV during this process. Then you can go ahead and let go and hold down the home button on your remote. So when you hold this down, after about 10 to 15 seconds, you may notice a light on the top of the remote that's gonna start blinking green. This is an indication it's looking for a device to pair to. So here's the green blinking light. So if your remote still isn't paired at this time, hold down the home button and get closer to the TV. So on your Amazon Fire TV, go to the center of the TV where it says the logo and just try to connect it. So I can see it's blinking green and you can hold this down for about a minute or longer and repeat the process. Now, if that still doesn't work, go over to the power cord on your TV and unplug it from the wall outlet and simply restart your TV. So let's unplug it and then plug it back in after about five to 10 seconds. Now turn on your TV and there is a power button located on the bottom here. Now if your remote still isn't working, after about three to five minutes of doing nothing with your TV just sitting on, the screen will pop up that says, we cannot detect your remote, placing the remote closer to the TV like we did before, pressing and holding down the home button for 10 seconds on the remote, inserting new alkaline batteries into the remote, unplugging your Fire TV device, waiting five seconds, then plugging it back in. Now, if the remote still isn't working, reset it by pressing the button with the three lines, back one and the left one for 10 seconds. Now, typically when this screen pops up, all I have to do is press the middle button and my remote is connected. Now, if you still are having a lot of problems, go to the Google Play Store or the App Store and then search for this application. It's called Fire TV application, and this will allow you to control your TV with your phone. Just make sure you're connected to the same Wi-Fi as your Fire TV. So I'm connected to the Wi-Fi right there. Now let's go back to the application and open it up, and we can choose our Fire TV. So let's choose my TV, and then I'm connected. Now use the on-screen remote to go over to the settings page. And go over to controllers and Bluetooth devices, select this. Then go to where it says Alexa voice remotes and go to add new remote. Now hold down the home button on your remote and you want to go ahead and pair your Fire TV. Now use your phone and then select it and it should be paired now to my TV. So hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If did leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on your six tech.